you'll all be aware of the issue around funding cuts and the impact that's having both on the NHS, on local government and most of the public sector. That's been a driver, a way of making us think about how could we do things differently. And rather than thinking about how can we stop doing things, how can we do less, we're thinking about how we can transform the way we do things that will actually provide better outcomes for people. The event today is really about starting a discussion with local people and professionals and stakeholders to say how we can collectively solve some of those kind of wicked challenging problems that we have around health and well-being in Sutton. Yeah, I live in Sutton, so it's really fantastic to be here. As Countable Office for South West London, really important that we work with the local community, with our partners in the local authority, and with everybody that's involved in delivering healthcare, because we want to plan for the future. This is a proper event for our local population to inform what we do in the future and inform our planning. And we want people in Sutton to start well, live well and age well. And actually, this is a real opportunity for people just to get involved and really take some action. It's great to be now part of a much, much wider conversation with all the people of Sutton about how we can make Sutton a better place to live and to be healthy in the future. From our perspective at HealthWatch, we're very much looking at health and social care as the key elements of this and about ensuring that engagement is really good quality and that we're speaking to the right people and collecting the right information to inform change. I'm here because I want to get my view as a young person living in the borough of Sutton across to the people who are like at the top. And I feel like it's very important because we're the next generation, so the changes that are happening now are going to affect us and we should have a say in how our future is shaped. What I'd like to do is to make sure that uh, we we work effectively together as leaders in, health, in the health and care system to get outcomes that are best for the Sutton population, that are implemented in a timely way and that are effective in making a difference going forward. I really talk about this thing that we thought about called older mentors. This is where they match young people with the elderly with some interesting backgrounds such as if I'm studying business as an elderly person who's been in business game for like 50 years and I was retired they can help me set up connections and I can get to know them and this will help like build a young person CV and like UCAS and stuff like that and make them feel different and this gives like the elderly sense of responsibility and purpose because they're looking after someone again and caring for someone. Yeah. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. The energy in the room is just incredible. There's more than 100 people here, people from all different walks of life. We've got people from the council, obviously, from the NHS, from different voluntary and community groups. But we've got an awful lot of people here who are talking about their lived experience, and I think that's just so powerful. Thank you for actually giving me the opportunity to actually stand in I give my voice across as a young person in Sutton, which I think isn't really possible anywhere else as well. So thank you for that and for actually accepting what was being said by us as the young people and sort of taking it in and trying to, I guess, change the future for everyone as well. So yeah, thank you for that. Woo! Woo!